Hey everybody, what is up? Sean Hatzel here, 46 year old stubborn fat expert, owner of online rapid fat loss community, Get Lean and 12. And inside today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to create the ultimate fat burning meal. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about just doing this in the morning and in the midday, depending on the protocol that you like to follow. And then I'm also gonna talk about the number one fat storing food combination that you must avoid if you want to lose belly fat. It doesn't matter what diet or exercise plan you're following, you're gonna to want to avoid this deadly food combination. I'll talk about that in just a second. But first, over here, we have a list of macronutrients and I've labeled them. P is protein, S is starch, F is for fruit, and then O is for fat or oil, so we don't get it confused with fruit, and then V is for vegetables. And then here you're gonna see an AM and a midday column with the recommended food combinations. And then I also have IF here for intermittent fasting. So if you like to use techniques like intermittent fasting, it's not for everybody. I'm a huge fan. I like to use a fasting protocol of 16 hours a day, about four or five days of the week, and then follow it up by an eight hour feeding window. If you're one of those people who does use intermittent fasting, you are allowed in the morning to have lemon water so you can freeze some fresh organic lemon juice in some water. You could also add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This has been shown to help stabilize blood sugar even further while you're fasting. You could also add some cayenne. It won't taste that great, but it does have some proven fat burning qualities. And black coffee and calorie feed tea are also allowed and you can sweeten with a little stevia, but no cream is allowed. By just consuming these drinks in your fasted window, this allows the sympathetic nervous system to kick up really high because there's no calories present. So this is your body's fight or flight response. This is what will allow your body to release a lot of growth hormone, adrenaline, and norepinephrine during the fasted window. These are neurotransmitters and fat burning hormones that can help you live longer and quickly lose more belly fat. Now, if you're a breakfast eater and your goal is to quickly lose belly fat, my recommendation is that you avoid insulin spiking foods. Traditional breakfast foods like whole wheat toast, whole grain muffins, granola, granola bars, orange juice, all these things are fat storing nightmares. And if you eat them early in the day, you spike insulin, it takes the body out of a fat burning environment because insulin is the body's storage hormone. So when insulin is present, it makes it impossible for the body to access fat as a fuel source. So instead, so that you mimic fasting if you're a breakfast eater, avoid starchy carbohydrates and avoid high sugar fruits like ripe bananas and stick with proteins, friendly fats or oil and some vegetables or st stick with proteins and fruits. And then when I say fruit, not ripe fruits like bananas, low glycemic fruits like berries. What this will do is it will nourish your body and feed your body with the nutrients it needs without spiking insulin and sending your blood sugar crashing up and down, making you hungry later in the day and making you wanna take a nap. This is how you can avoid those afternoon energy lulls and keep the body in a fat burning environment. It's to strictly use protein friendly fats and vegetables or strictly use protein and some low glycemic fruit like some vegetables. So for example, scrambling up some eggs in some olive oil or grass-fed butter, throwing a bunch of vegetables in there and maybe a little bit of grass-fed cheese and scrambling that up and eating it. It's a great choice. A high quality protein shake with maybe a tablespoon of raw nut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, or even raw peanut butter, but just make sure it's raw so it doesn't have all the processed ingredients in it. That's another great choice. Another great choice would be a protein shake with some frozen berries mixed in with it or you could even have, if you can tolerate dairy, like some cottage cheese, a cup of cottage cheese or a cup of Greek yogurt and throw some berries in that. That makes for a great morning snack. These are the foods that won't spike insulin. So it keeps the body in a fat burning environment by giving you the nutrients you need so that you have focus and energy throughout the day. Now, believe it or not, research shows that you shouldn't be eating your carbs earlier in the day like previously thought. You should actually be eating them later in the day for several reasons that I'll talk about in the next video. But first, Let's talk about the number one fat storing food combination that you must avoid no matter what diet or exercise plan that you're following. And that is starches and fats together or ripe fruits like bananas and fats together. So for example, if you eat a ripe banana, a ripe banana has a lot more sugar than a green banana, 
because as a banana ripens, the starch in it converts into sugar. Now, if you eat a ripe banana, it's obviously a healthy choice. And you eat, say you spread some nut butter on that. So you're dipping your banana or spreading some nut butter on your banana. This is a healthy food choice. And I'm not saying it's gonna make you fatter, but because you're eating sugar from the banana, it elevates insulin inside the body. Remember, insulin is the body's storage hormone. So if the fats from the nut butter is present at the same time, the insulin is going to take that fat and it's going to store it. Now, this is a healthy example. We could use dozens and dozens of unhealthy examples like sugar, salt, and, uh, sugar, salt, and fat together. Ice creams, pizzas, lasagnas, right? Uh, Mexican dishes. All these things are combining starches and lots of fats together, and this is a recipe for disaster. So save those foods for your cheat meal or your cheat day, and instead focus on the lower insulin spiking foods early in the day. And no matter what time of day you're eating, 95% of the time you should always be avoiding this deadly combination of combining starches and or sugars with fats together to keep the body in a fat loss environment. So. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, give me some likes, give me some hearts, and drop a comment below if you have questions. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to check this out. We're six and a half minutes in, so I'm always grateful when people take time to watch my videos. Thanks for watching and keep going strong.